Use the YouTube annotations below to skip directly to the section of the video that you want to watch. Like if you want to see the foregrip section, then just click on the foregrip below and it'll take you directly to that part of the video. With the recent patch, the foregrip's side sway reduction has been changed from a global value to a weapon specific value. So weapons such as the AK-971 or the FAMAS, for example, will remain mostly changed, whereas weapons with mostly vertical recoil, such as the AN-94 in this video, or the M16 or the M416, kind of remain unchanged. The foregrip doesn't really make that much of a difference, basically, when using this gun. If you are firing full auto, it doesn't matter which um, attachment you use with the foregrip, although I did notice that the laser sight is probably your best bet when using the foregrip. I wouldn't really say that the, the AN-94 was a close range weapon, but this is mainly due to the two shot burst or the two shot default fire mode that it starts with. It's probably more of a longer range weapon, so I wouldn't recommend firing like this in the game because I've um, I died quite a lot of times trying to do this. Although the suppressor no longer reduces the maximum damage of the gun, the accuracy bonuses remain mainly the same. If you use the foregrip with the suppressor, it doesn't really make any difference if you were, weren't using any attachments. Although it is more of an ideal upgrade, or upgrade, sorry, attachment for close quarters battles, but I wouldn't really recommend using the AN-94 for close range. It's probably a better longer range weapon, even though you could use the suppressor on the burst fire mode that would make it an effective counter sniping weapon but it doesn't really add anything to your uh, accuracy bonus so it's really down to the personal preference really The flash suppressor now acts as a vertical recoil compensator which is actually quite helpful when using the AN-94 as it, uh, it does tend to have quite a lot of vertical recoil it's no longer, a, no longer a global value, it's now a weapon specific value, so some weapons with low vertical recoil won't benefit as much as weapons that do have a lot of vertical recoil, if that made any sense. But in order to counter this, it's um, they've increased the hit fire penalty when using the flash suppressor, but it's not really like you would use the AN-94 firing from the hip up close. Even though I have done it in quite a few of the clips in this video, it's not really recommended. Although firing from the burst is quite effective. The vertical recoil penalty of the AN-94 has now been reduced, but like the flash suppressor, the hit fire accuracy has been reduced as well, just to sort of balance this out. I wouldn't recommend firing the AN-94 or any weapon with heavy the heavy barrel like this, but I'm just kind of doing this to show you the effects of the, uh, the attachment. But you will notice also that the maximum range of the weapon you're using with the heavy barrel will now be increased. This is really, this is good news for snipers basically, or any person that likes to fight mid-range, longer ranges, and the AN-94 coupled with the burst fire mode and heavy barrel is quite lethal. The bipod now grants a much higher accuracy bonus and recoil reduction when using the bipod with a carbine or an assault rifle, but I've also noticed that the uh, the deployment speed's now been sped up, but I still find the bipod to be kind of cumbersome and it just gets in the way most of the time, but also that um, they've changed it so that it doesn't matter if you're aiming down the sights or firing from the hip, the accuracy bonus remains mainly unchanged, but I did find that using the bipod it's really down to um, forward planning and kind of known where your enemy is going to be and that's something I'm unfortunately not very good at so um, unless you know exactly where the enemy is going to be or like, where the guy is going to be or if you can read your enemy well then you shouldn't really have a problem when using the bipod but I just find it really bizarre using the bipod with something that's not an LMG or a sniper but apparently the, it's more viable using the bipod with an assault rifle or a carbine but I would really leave it to the sniper rifles or the LMGs that's really just my opinion though The 
The laser sight attachment still remains my favourite attachment in the game, not because of the hit fire accuracy bonus that it grants, but you can also annoy people with it, or dazzle them. But anyway, they have increased the hit fire bonus of weapons that use the laser sight, but this has been changed from a global value to a kind of a per weapon value, or a weapon specific value, sorry, so it's gonna, some guns are gonna benefit more than others. I know it's a slight difference when using the AN94 with the laser sight, but again, it's more if you tend to fire, if you tend to fire from the hip, um, and I would say that the AN94 is more of a long range weapon, so you might benefit from it, or you might not. 